Hi, my name is Bertrand Dirk, and today we'll be discussing about what sinus headache is. Have you been diagnosed or may think you suffer from sinus headaches? Well, today we will go into greater detail to have a clearer understanding of what sinus headache is, as well as understanding the possible cause, as well as the potential treatment options to help sinus headaches. So firstly, let's talk about what sinuses are. We'll go into a bit of anatomy. Now, your sinuses are basically hollow spaces found behind your forehead, behind the cheeks, and behind the nose. They are named according to the area of the face they are located. So for example, the frontal sinuses are located in the forehead, the maxillary sinuses are located behind the cheeks, and the sphenoid sinuses are located right behind your eyes and nose region. Now, and also the ethnoid sinuses are actually located right behind your nose. Now, the sinuses basically form a network of cavities that allow airflow and the drainage of mucus that helps prevent infections and the introduction of pathogens into the body. Now, your sinuses can often get inflamed as a result of allergic reactions or even infections. This inflammation can then cause increased mucus productions in your sinuses, results in painful blockages, and this pain can be felt in the forehead, the eyes, the nose, the cheeks, or even your teeth, and that can then form the sinus headache. So basically, sinus headache is experienced in the sinus and the nose areas, all around the front of the head. And this type of headache is bilateral in nature, where symptoms are felt on usually on both sides of the head in the sinus and nose region. Now, sinusitis and migraines. So basically, the location of pain experienced in a sinus headache can actually be similar to that experienced in a migraine. In sufferers of sinus headache, they would generally also experience a runny nose or congestion during their headaches, watery eyes um, during their headaches, or experiencing increase in pressure in or around their, their sinuses, around their nose, their cheeks, their eyes, and their forehead. So that is somewhat of the differences between a sinus headache versus a migraine. So then, what are the causes of a sinus headache. Now the common belief is that sinus headache are caused by a respiratory infection like a cold or a flu or allergies such as hay fever. Now an infection inside the sinus results in headache and migraine like pain and when an allergen such as a dust or a pollen enters the body the nasal cavity in sinuses senses this as a threat or pathogen. Now this threat is then detected by the trigeminal nerve, passing that information to the superior salivatory nucleus, which then proceeds to fill the sinus with excess mucus so that the pathogen or allergen is removed out of the nose or digested when swallowed. And the pressure that can develop is what is experienced as a headache or migraine. Now, in these patients that we see with sinus headache, they are found to have a dysfunction in the upper cervical spine of the neck, which is the first three vertebrae in the neck, and this then results in a sensitized brainstem, that when we can use this um, to reproduce, that, that this can then reproduce the headache pain. Now, those with this sensitized brainstem will also have an overactive and oversensitive trigeminal nerve. Now, activity that was previously not perceived as a threat by the trigeminal nerve is now triggering sinusitis. This, overact this overreaction can now cause subsequent infection due to the increase in bacteria dense mucus in the sinuses and nasal cavity. And basically from here on, frequent and recurrent sinus headaches can be triggered. So hence, in summary, the causes can also be due to, remember, a sensitized brainstem. So this may now make you, the individual, to become more sensitive than normal, which can then create you to be more allergic to, to certain dust particles. So, for example, 
a dust which should not normally create you to have blockages in the nose because that dust is, is sensed by the trigeminal nerve in the brainstem and because it's so sensitive it believes that that simple dust particle is a threat is a pathogen and that's what then creates a cascade of events to create all those mucus block ups and then create pain into the head so the primary cause that what we can see now is due to a sensitized brainstem resulting from a disruption in the first three vertebrae of the neck so now that we know what the cause is, what are other potential preventative factors? So basically, let's listen through. Incorporating some lifestyle changes can help you prevent sinus headaches. And research shows that something as simple as exercise. Physical activity has shown to improve the general and well-being and quality of life. With the correct training, exercises can improve muscular endurance and or strength. And you can try to apply these simple activities to improve your daily function. Other things such as avoiding triggers, you know, avoiding certain foods, smells, or avoiding being in a certain environment, potentially where it's a very dusty environment, or outdoors where there's a lot of pollen and dust. All these can help reduce the, the, um, the attacks of your sinus attacks. A third thing that is shown is reducing stress. Having stress in our lives can actually often cause muscular tension, typically found in and around the neck and shoulder region. Now this can play a huge role in headaches. So finding relaxation strategies such as breathing techniques, meditation, or doing things that you enjoy are good ways of reducing stress. So what are the other ways that we can help manage uh, sinus headaches? Now we can let you know that many of our patients have tried everything available to them uh, from things as such as taking painkillers, decongestants, antihistamines, air humidifiers, uh, nasal rinsing or even sinus surgeries. And despite all these continued attempts, most still suffer from sinus headaches. And for these patients, we strongly would urge that you do seek a headache consultant. A headache that specializes in assessing the first three vertebrae of the neck and also assessing the brainstem to see whether or not your brainstem is hypersensitive, overactive, which can then create pain and can transmit into a sinus type headache pain. So what I would urge you to do is that if you haven't done so, is to see a headache clinician and to see whether or not your brainstem is the cause. And if the brainstem is the cause of your sinus headaches, then treatment can actually begin immediately and is actually very effective at treating sinus headaches. So, hopefully you have found value in today's video to understand a bit more about what sinus headache is, the cause, and the treatment options. Now, if you do have any further questions, feel free to comment below or contact us through the channels below. Once again, my name is Bertrand Dirk, and I look forward to seeing you in another video. Another video.